Daniel X 1.8 billion pound Arsenal takeover bid. This is well and truly escalating. Spotify owner and billionaire Daniel X looks set to make his first offer to Stan Kroenke. But the question is, what will Stan Kroenke's response be? And as well as that, what is the latest on David Luiz's injury and his contract? Let's discuss in today's video. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? My name is Bass 14. Welcome back to your boy's channel. And as I said again, it's TakeOver FC. It is Spotify FC, Arsenal FC. Let's just go straight away in today's video. Right, the over. And first things first, Daniel X, Arsenal offer and Arsenal bid. I won't lie to you guys. The last couple of weeks have just been mental. First, you had the European Super League. And now you've got my man trying to buy Arsenal, Spotify FC, Arsenal Football Club. I don't know what's going on anymore. The report is from Telegraph Sport. And they are claiming Daniel X will make a bid in the region of 1.8 billion pounds for Arsenal the next 10 days. Those who know Ek are convinced that he is in it for the longer haul. So 1.8 billion pounds, is that going to be enough for Stan Kroenke to answer and to accept and to sell Arsenal? No, no it isn't. Even Forbes value Arsenal just higher at 2 billion pounds. So essentially this is going to be just a starting off bid to tell Stan Kroenke, look I'm serious, here's the money, here's the cash, you know, and let me know what you want. There is also a recognition that findings of a review by former sports minister Tracy Crouch may impact whether or not Kroenke could be convinced into selling Arsenal, which may need the Swede to bide his time if his initial bid is rejected, reports Matt Law. So once again, a few more positive signs for Daniel Ek, and don't get it twisted for a second, I know Stan Kroenke keeps on saying that Arsenal is not for sale, but everything has a price on it, and you know, if Daniel Ek pays the money that Stan Kroenke wants, then you know what, we could have a new owner there and there. Let's pause it right there, my guys. Just before we proceed to the next part of the video, if you can go down there and smash a like on the video i would appreciate that and most importantly subscribe to your boy if you are new it is completely free of charge it's a quick little button you press and most importantly we close into 40 000 subscribers so please do subscribe you even had kavi salako on sky sports say that spotify owner dana wick is totally serious about buying arsenal has the funds to complete the deal Thierry, patrick vera and dennis Bergkamp completely committed ek open to having fan representation on the arsenal board you know what that sounds well and great daniel wick but that right at the end of fan representation it sounds too good to be true having fans on the board having Henri and Burkham and Vieira three Arsenal legends having an owner that cares about the club that knows about the club that is an Arsenal fan either the almighty gods have blessed us all as I just said it's too good to be true Salikul also says that Daniel Ek is said to be an Arsenal obsessive who even watches live games on his laptop during Spotify board meetings watching every Arsenal game and has been to Highbury and the Emirates Stadium many times this guy is a goon through and through man is watching off the games on a laptop during board meetings as i said this sounds way way too good to be true and also i'd love to know who's been telling sky cavi this news i mean who is the guy in the spotify board meetings looking at daniel Ek going oh my god he's watching off on his laptop let me message sky cavi i mean who are your sources state the name cuts by saying that here is a tweet back from 2018 where daniel Ek was asked about the transfers of mikatari and Aubameyang, alexis sanchez in that january transfer window and he said yes but i I have had too much hopes being crushed to even dare to dream. The piece I have from watching is from the home groans. Essentially, Daniel Ek is a hell end stan. He loves hell end FC and has things you love to see. So quite clearly, he is an Arsenal fan. This isn't a PR stunt. He's a massive gooner. He's been watching Arsenal for a long, long time. I've even had he's been watching Arsenal since 1992. But as that famous quote as an Arsenal fan says, it's the hope that ends up killing you as an Arsenal fan. And as I said, I'm hopeful that this is true. I'm hopeful that all he's saying is correct correct but as i said i'm not trying to dream that far my hopes have been crushed too many times by arsenal football club to even think about it you even had the athletic today saying that one club source dismissed the idea that kfc would be bounced into a sell as a joke bonds these american owners says Kronky won't sell he married into the massive wealth in the walton family and wants to pass afc to his children so is that what we are now in 2021 Our arsenal football club you know a bit of a, a toy for these billionaire owners where they can just pass us on to their children to play with like what are we and in terms of your boy i have been watching a few little videos online of daniel work in terms of you know how is he what is he like in terms of on interviews and from what i've heard about him this is a guy who is a very serious who's a very intelligent person he's 38 years of age he only became a billionaire in 2019 and now in 2021 he owns i think more than double that already i've also heard some people claim that by the year 2030 his net worth could go up to 30 billion pounds which as i said it's not confirmed but it's a madness if it's true but from what i 
understand Daniel Ek looks like a person to me who's innovative, who makes money, makes money well, and you know, has the idea to take things forwards. But as I will say one more time, you can have a willing buyer, but if the seller is not willing to sell the club, then there's no point in even trying. I myself personally believe that Stan Kroenke has a price, but it's now all down to Daniel Ek and whether he's willing to pay that price. How much are you willing to put on the line, Daniel Ek? We are going to wait and see. But let me know your honest predictions on this entire saga and do you think Daniel Ek is going to buy Arsenal? Yes or no in the comments and do you want it to buy Arsenal? Let me know your thoughts down below as always. Moving on to the second thing and that is David Luiz and an update on his future and his injury. First things first, let's get the injury news because it's a, a bit of a positive news let's just say. SR Collins believes that Arsenal have been handed a boost with David Luiz back in training ahead of Thursday's Europa League semi-final against Villarreal. Luiz has not played since March 21st and has been working hard to get fit since his minor surgery. That is very positive news because David Luiz has had a bit of a decent season as an Arsenal player and from what I've seen so far let's not jinx and touch wood not many mistakes either. He's also Arsenal's most senior defender and going into European semi-finals you know you want to have an experienced winner like David Luiz. And in some and I've also seen a stat recently saying that David Luiz has not gone without winning a trophy since the year 2014. So I will say it all my time David Luiz is a proven winner he knows how to lift them trophies and that's something that we're gonna need if we want to win the Europa League and also a shout out to the new Arsenal physio Bruno Maserotti because once again the man is on fire Luis ahead of schedule next up KT can we get TNE fit that would be a gargantuan boost for Arsenal Football Club the standard also say that David Luiz's current contract is due to expire at the end of the season and talks over a new deal have yet to take place Arsenal may still come to the table with the club planning to address several players future and Luiz is relaxed about the situation I don't know what to do with David Luiz he's clearly a player who wins trophies it's something that you want he's clearly a leader in the Arsenal dressing room as well and we don't have that many leaders in the first place but of course you then also have the future of William Saliba, Dinos Mavrapanos, you've got Gabriel Magalhaes, Pablo Mare, Rob Holding, Callum Chambers we've got so many centre backs do we need David Luiz is his experience and leadership that important to this current Arsenal first team that you put someone like William Saliba to one side I'm not quite sure but then again that is your boy's opinion and his opinion only but what would you guys do with the future of David Luiz would you give him a new contract or let him go off in the free let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as always I love to know what you guys have to say and finally lads here is the other Arsenal news today right yo first things first my star boy my English KDB Emil Smith Rowe we have an update on his future the Athletic are reporting that Arsenal have opened talks over a new contract with Emil Smith Rowe they are also claiming as well as locking in Smith Rowe Arsenal plan to sign another number 10 whether that is Martin Odegaard or an alternative option so Arsenal want to sign another number 10 in the summer is that going to be Martin Odegaard let's put that debate to one side for a second and let's discuss Emil Smith Rowe I think it is quite important that Arsenal also sign him onto a new contract and you think about already Martinelli, Bukayo Saka, following Balogun all three players have signed long term deals Arsenal are quite clearly looking at the future and tying down these ballers to long long term contracts and bringing back Martin Odegaard to the conversation for a second I am not sure if Arsenal can sign him in the summer he's gonna cost a lot of money Arsenal might not even have European football and of course you've also got Real Madrid and Florentino Perez to discuss with but one question I want to ask you guys for the comments is if we can't sign Martin Odegaard as that number 10 are there any other players that you would like to see Arsenal sign myself Emi Bondia we might have to return there we've also got an update on Dinos Mavropanos himself as Chris Whitley on the Q&A today said from what I understand he is a likely to be in Arteta's plans next season. Loan move or a permanent exit are likely options. That's not what I want to hear. I rate Dinos Mavropanos. I think he's a very good centre back. He's 23 years of age, right footed, he's powerful, he's a good defender and a lot of potential as well. But of course we've also got the likes of William Saliba and let's not forget we've also given a new contract to Rob Holding. But as you guys know by now I massively massively rate Dinos Mavropanos and I will be gutted and I will be heartbroken if he leaves our Arsenal on a permanent transfer this summer but do you personally see a future of Dinos Mavropanos at Arsenal and would you keep him would you sell him or would you loan him instead in the summer transfer 
below let me know your thoughts down below in the comments but there you man go over that is the latest after news there and there take over fc indeed of course as always if you have enjoyed this video make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video also don't forget to subscribe to your boy if you are new and let me know your thoughts on all things that i have discussed if you would like to follow your boy on the social media and them things there the links will be down below in the description so i would massively appreciate that but there you guys go that has been the latest arsenal news today the latest video today and i will see you tomorrow is it takeover fc can we become spotify fc we are gonna have to wait and see in a bit